after my cancel, actually I drink more double boiled soup because I think it's um, better for my digestions. It's very sweet, very refreshing. The sweetness, I think it's from the fish and the apple. Because my taste bud, um, I don't have much taste. So the soup itself, when I drink it, I can feel that um, everything, the soup taste, they will go inside my mouth. So that when I swallow, I feel it's so much better. Because normally during chemo week, I can tend to have ulcer. That is one of the side effects. So um, soup is the best thing to consume actually. If the weather is very hot, then I will boil some winter melon soup. Then um, if normally just for the taste bud itself, maybe I will try some ABC soup, that's a very simple one. And lotus with the Chinese yam and a bit of cuttlefish and peanuts. I like to cook that for my son also. And last time, I'm, because as you know, I'm a meat eater. So I will buy some soup, but definitely I need to have meat. But after my illness, no. Now I can have just soup itself. And because basically, I'm not a rice person. I don't like to eat rice. So just have um, one bowl of soup and just one um, spoonful of rice that will satisfy my appetite. Chemo have a lot of side effects, you see. So, so many side effects that you eat anything, you also cannot feel the taste of it. So only vegetables, I can still feel the earthy flavour. That means um, the melon, they have the refreshing taste, I still can feel it. Besides that, all the saltiness, all that, I can't feel it at all. And mushroom, they have the earthy flavour that it will make, your, make you feel very good. So basically, yes, vegetable now to me is 100% less. Mm, melon taste. Which is refreshing. Have the taste of chicken and the earthy taste of mushrooms. Wow, multi layers of taste, <laughs> harmony combinations. Good. <laughs> when they want to eat something um, Chinese, more Chinese style, I will cook uh, broccoli with eggs. So I fried like you know, fried like um, a bit of like um, cha kueh like that. So this broccoli I will mince it to a quite a small part. Then I will put um. Uh, eggs on it, then I'll just fry it and it's very nice. It's turned out and it's become my son's favourite also. Meat is all my favourite. White meat or red meat is all my favourite. Every dialect group, they have uh, different specialities. Like Teochew, the um, steamed fish all that are very nice. Hokkien is all the... All the what? Wu uh, zi, san chen rou, all that. Yeah, I love that. Intestine soup, you know, pepper. That is Hokkien, so I like that also. Actually, basically, I just like meat. Uh. <laughs> but now today I change, I change. Now it's, um, to me, my dish now is actually... I try to be 70% veggie and fruits and 30% meat. Yeah, I try to make it to a balance. Okay, whenever Cantonese, um, whenever I ask them, okay, what's your favourite dish? They say picking ducks. I will show order. We will show order because picking up they have um, the skin, they have um, cucumber, Sometimes they have some uh, spring, uh, spring onion, then you put a, uh, the sweet sauce, then you eat it and it's marvellous. It's just, yeah, it's a bit sinful, but it's just so delicious and you just feel that so satisfied, see? Mm. The lotus leaf flavour fragrance are there. It's nice. Okay, I'm not a white rice person, but if you give me this kind of rice, I can eat more than three spoon. <laughs> or fried rice I can eat. Since young, I just love, um, I just don't like rice. I don't know. For, for certain reason, I also don't know why. But I just like to eat bihun. So my mom says I'm a very weird person. So I just don't take rice. I can, I can don't take rice. But I always ask for bihun. Bihun soup, fried bihun, whatever bihun. But fried rice, I can. Okay, fried things. Fried rice. Something like this, I can, I can eat. I can eat um, half a bowl uh, or one bowl maybe. When I'm hungry, I can finish. 